One of the hardest parts in crypto is moving funds from one blockchain to another. For example, I didn't know how to get funds onto Solana, so I would research all the bridges on that blockchain, find out which one is best, and then bridge my funds. That takes a lot of time, and then every time you wanna use a new blockchain, you have to research the bridges again and repeat that process. It gets very annoying. That's why in this video, I think you should know about Rango Exchange. Rango is my new favorite bridge at the moment because it supports over 60 networks and it still has low fees like other bridges that you're probably used to. So let's jump in. Like most bridges, Rango is pretty easy to use. There is a link to Rango in the description, but the website looks like this. And as I mentioned, it supports over 60 networks right now. So you can move funds from Bitcoin to Ethereum, for example, Ethereum all the way to, let's say Solana or the Cosmos ecosystem. And it just supports more networks than I've seen on other bridges. So if we look at Orbiter Finance, for example, this is a bridge I used to use, and it's a popular one. It supports layer two networks, and there's maybe 15 to 20 options. Layer Swap, another popular choice, has maybe a dozen or a couple dozen blockchains, and then centralized exchanges. Portal Bridge, another popular option, but not many networks compared to Rango. So here's an example of how I used it. You would connect your wallet in the top right corner, select MetaMask or whatever you have. And I was trying to bridge funds to Solana. So then you could also connect your Solana wallet. Phantom is what I have. And I was trying to get funds from Arbitrum onto Solana. Rango makes it very easy because you can just select whatever coin you want and select whatever coin you want to receive and it'll automatically swap it for you. So I wanted to receive Solana and send USDC. And let's say I enter $500. Rango will find the best route and show you the different options that are available. So Rango is a bridge aggregator. So it aggregates all the decentralized exchanges and bridges on Solana. So if there's a chain I've never used before, such as like, let's say Noble, never heard of this one, I can click on that and it'll already aggregate the most popular bridges on those chains. So I don't have to do that research, obviously being very convenient and it offers low fees as well. It has this smart routing feature, but you can also filter by let's say just lowest fees or whatever. And if you want to refresh the route, it can look for new options available. Sometimes you can click this a few times and it will give you a new option. Here you have the gas estimate and the time it takes as well. So maybe sometimes you just want the fastest route. If everything looks good, I can just click swap and then it will ask me to confirm these transactions in my wallet. Now here's one thing I ran into that you should keep in mind. If we look at this third route here, sometimes it will go through different multiple blockchain networks, right? So it goes from Arbitrum to Optimism, then Solana. You have to have funds on Optimism to pay for gas fees and it'll ask you to confirm that in the wallet. So if you don't have any funds on Optimism, you're gonna have to cancel the transaction and you'll be wondering why it doesn't go through. So just keep that in mind. It does that here as well with Polygon. You would need Matic to pay for gas fees. But here it goes from, on the first one, it goes straight from Arbitrum to Solana. So then I'd be able to send that with no issues. So if we do another example and I wanna go from Arbitrum to Avalanche, somehow I'm receiving $3 more on the other end, which is awesome as it gives you so many different routes to choose from. And you can receive the native token on that network so you have funds right away to pay for gas fees. Crypto bridges are probably the most important tool in crypto right now, but there's hundreds of different options and it's all very fragmented. And most of the bridges only support a handful of networks. That's why I really like Rango. If we look at the website here, they've had over $2 billion in volume, 1.5 million total swaps, and they've integrated 60 plus chains, 80 DEXs, and so on. And for these reasons, it's currently my favorite bridge. So I hope you found this video helpful. Obviously not financial advice. You can click the link in the description to visit the Rango Exchange. It's an affiliate link, but it's at no extra cost to you. And this tool is something I've been using regardless. And if you want a full list of Web3 tools you can start using today, go to rankfi.com slash crypto tools, and I'll send you a free list of tools. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.